Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another player review and it's a legend player review long overdue. Hey, that rhymed. And um, as you can see, the reason I'm showing Paolo Future, or Future, I call him Future, at the same time is because straight after this I'll be uploading a review on him as well. But this is all about Fowler. Look at those stats. 14 goals in 8 games and a couple of assists. That's bang on. Here's his in-game stats. You can pause it and check it out whenever you like by pausing it. And 3-star skills, 3-star weak, weak foot. And those acceleration, the acceleration agility, all those, and the men mental attributes, it looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And he is better than his card shows, you shall see why. The only thing what comes to mind for me when I think Robbie Fowler is his finishing, that's it. When you look at his card sets, you're not really gonna think, okay, this guy's gonna skill everyone up Neymar style or whatever. Uh, he, the first thing you think of is Van Nistelrooy, meaning finishing, right? Oh, I would love to review Van Nistelrooy next as well. But anyway, sorry, getting off topic. This guy... Okay, before I continue, here's Paolo Future. The reason I put this in as well is to just give you a little taste of what he does in his player review as well. I'm sorry, but another reason why I put that in as well is this is about him and Paolo Future. Together, they dominated. Do you know the new cup they are released? Uh, the Nutmeg Cup? for to uh, If you win, you get a 25k pack. I destroyed it. I played, was it four games, obviously? And in those four games, I only conceded one goal, and it was a very stupid goal. They were just so attacking. They... they they always won the ball, they always had the ball, they were just amazing together. So that's why I wanted to do it as a double player view in one video, but it wouldn't have made sense. No one would have liked something like that. But um, he is just brilliant. I'm serious. This guy, Robbie Fowler and Future together, I'm going to keep the team and make it in the squads of gods, but it's a bit too expensive, so I'm going to make it just as a normal squad builder, expensive squad builder. They are just absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And um, their f his finishing together is just brilliant. And his weak foot is his right foot. And um, you shall see here. Look at this, for example. This is his weak foot, technically. Technically. He is just unbelievable. But you're not going to be able to do much, like, outpacing the likes of David Luiz because he's very slow. Like, there, you can see his touch let him down there. But he makes up for it with his shots and stuff. He's absolutely brilliant. When he's on the breakaway, he will just put all that energy and agility into that run. It's like he has this automatic thing about him that... He will only put his energy into it whenever whenever the the cause like he needs to on that moment. Kind of like Maradona, you know, he was very lazy to chase the ball, but when he when he like needed when he was on the ball, basically, he just put all his energy into it and it made a difference. Like some people are like that. They store all their energy up and they, they they're very lazy until it comes to the time when they are on the ball or when they have a chance to do something with it. I'm not disrespecting Maradona, I love him, but anyway. Um, almost clipping the post there as well, Robbie Fowler from outside the box, check this goal out there. And that's with his strong foot obviously, because it was his left foot, very nice acrobatics. I would definitely say if you guys want to splash the cash for him, you should get him one. He, The good thing about him compared to the other legends, for example Portuguese, Dutch, is it's very hard to make a team around them. So when you have an English player, it's a lot easier because you have the likes of Walcott on one wing, and Sterling on the other wing, and him up front in a 4-3-3, and you can have Gerard just under Fowler, and then you can build a prem team around them. And you can sub one of the wingers out if you don't think they're good enough to uh, play alongside Fowler. There's many ways to do it. Just check this out as well. I swear when I shot this, I did not expect the keeper to come out. I never look at the radar, and he was kind of hit like a bullet. It was a very good shot, very strong shot. He has a very good weak foot and strong foot. A great header, very, very good finishing, tremendous long shots in my opinion. Not long shots like 40 yards, around 30 yards and stuff. He's just brilliant. And um, his dribbling is a little better than it says for the cards to, on the card, to be honest. A little better. And um, he gets into the right place at the right time. I can't really mention his free kicks and penalties. Didn't really take any with him. I took one penalty with him and missed it. But what's I got to do with that 50-50 penalty shoot? A weak foot, 10 out of 10. Finishing 9.5, shooting 8.5. You can just pause it and check it out. The best thing about him is he scores goals from any moment, in any position, and under pressure or not. When you need to, he scores goals. And other than that, his heading, his dribbling, his passing was a little off, but that's because the links in the team, you know, he's English, so it's very hard to build a team around him at times. But, you know, nevertheless, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Like, like the reviews. Come on, I know you like these reviews. Just hit that like button and stay tuned for the next review. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out, guys.